Any mindfulness walk. It's a little bit of an emotional one for me. It's coming from Rhythm St Anne's, the seaside town in Lancashire. This was a place that I went on holiday, probably first in around 1979. And I've returned to periodically over the years. I had a kind of dated Victorian elegance about its seafront and about its attractions. So come along with me in this little walk, I'll turn the camera around and we can see what we've got. Okay, walking along, look at the sunken rock gardens. Just along here. The ornamental ponds. The flowers. The rocks. Looking like something out of a, a Flintstones movie. And this looked just like this. If my memory serves me well. When I first bit in the late 1970s, you got the little bridge, the waterfalls, the reed beds. Not too many little ducks on. Oh, here's the ducks somewhere. The little cobblestone pathways through the ornamental rocks. And this is just located just off the front in the promenade. The sound of running water is always a relaxing sound to hear. A little moorhead down here, swimming along, minding his own business. The ever present beside pigeons. And a a little baby moor hen. He should be a little closer to his mother at the moment, but there doesn't seem to be any predators about. Walking through here, I can't help but to return to my childhood memories of visiting such a place that seemed so exotic back then. But it can seem quite ordinary now. You've got the ducks over on the island. And quick to looking over. Wondering whether I've got any food for them. Which, sorry guys, no food for you this morning. One little duck out for the early morning swim. And a uh, little ornamental waterfall, which we're going to walk in behind and behind the rock. So, yes, it just looks exactly as I remember it. And I don't know what, <laughs> while you're watching this. You can think of any childhood holiday memories, feeling right down and emotion that you had back then. Perhaps you haven't allowed yourself to experience for a while. Along here, walking towards the promenade, we have the little children's train. I re remember going on years ago. The little train goes around the, the little mini kitchen park golf course. 
Pox, as they like to call it, in America. And as we walk along here, we get our first glimpse of the beach and the sand. Moving over the mass of the beach, just about seeing the sea in the distance. You can see all the way to Southport, which is only six miles as a crow flies. It takes you 55 miles if you're driving it. One thing that's ever present is a wind off the sea. And one thing quite unusual about the bats for me for the is this tide goes out. But what's the deal? Crack, crack. Seems miles and miles and miles. So getting to the sea for a swim or a paddle was as much of an excursion as a swim or paddle itself. The ocean, having a mind of its own, made sure that you were to And there's one thing sure in life. You never can hurry Mother Nature. It'll do just what it wants to, just when it wants to. As we walk, walk along the promenade here, we have a, a nice little feature. They've built little beach huts here, and then on to the Victorian elegance past. And these little beach huts can be hired out by the day, and people bring along the and shakes the drinks and have family get together in these little huts, which look very much like the Victorian bathing huts would have done. beyond as we continue a little walk along. Enjoying the fresh early morning breeze. And it's strange as a child you don't remember how windy it was, or how cool it could get sometimes in the British summer. Interesting. We always found somewhere in the sand dune to shelter out the way of the wind. We had three families that went on holiday. So, six parents and eight children, sometimes in the evening. Have a nice break. One set of parents walking her along the promenade with eight children and onlookers looking and wondering how they could have had such a large family. The children all of similar ages. So setting camp in the sand dunes to be able to be warm out the wind. Stop the sand from getting into your sandwiches and your diluting juice. And with the tide going out as far as it did, then you had the luxury of 
playing all sorts of games on the beach, rounders, cricket, tennis, badminton, and golf. Myself, my friend, inventing the greatest golf holes ever imaginable on a wide flat expanse of sand. On the right hand side, the now unfortunately empty little boating pond where you could put out in little rowing boats. Nothing there at the moment. It was always a treat to go out in the little rowing boat. Walking further along, we have the, the grand old Victorian pier towards the end of the walk. The pier has had some fire damage over the years and it's looking a little bit sad at the moment. Currently filled with the flashing lights and sounds of an amusement car came with the machines making their noise and alerting the senses to encourage child and adult gambling to play the game. And as we walk along to the pier here, and the sun is rising on another morning of all the Tory seaside resort of St. Anne's. And once again, we'll finish with a little panorama. And me, the end of another mindfulness walk from compelling visions. I hope you've enjoyed this little walk. Like and subscribe and we'll put more of them on here. So from St. Anne's on Sea, thank you for watching.